welcome to 2019. What will 2019 bring for the housing industry, especially the multifamily, red, and public housing? Well, first of all, before we go into 2019 and some of the things that are happening in 2019, let me thank you, our viewing audience. I'd like to thank you for all of your texts, your emails, your comments. We've received some requests asking if we could do calculations, EIB discrepancies, wait list management. Unfortunately, those things take a little longer than the time that we've set aside for Tuesday tips. But guess what? There's some things on the horizon. We're working on getting you some of those things together in another session that will last you a little longer. Originally, Tuesday Tips was designed so that you could tune in for a couple of minutes, hopefully learn something, hear something new, and then go about your day. So, those of you who requested that we do calculations, EIV discrepancies, and things that you feel like you need to do a better job, we're working on it for you, and hopefully it will be up really, really soon. But meantime, on the other hand, we've got some other news for you. Other exciting things for 2019 that are coming down the pipeline. First of all, there is going to be, for those of you who have mixed properties, you might have tax credit in Section 8, or you might have rural development in Section 8. Well, there has been a survey done on rural development 515 properties, and it has been determined that there is a decline in those properties. That's first. Second of all, we received notice from HUD about Tracks 203A. You know, Tracks 203A is a new voucher program that's coming out from HUD. However, it has been delayed. It seems that there are some additional forms that have to be approved by OMB first. So as soon as they release Tracks 203A, we will have Deanna Baker, our lead accountant, to come in and explain the process, the changes, and the things that you need to do to make 203A work better for you. Now, also, IRS has announced its new mileage rate. Now, most of you don't have elderly properties, but some of you do. It really affects the properties with a 202 or an elderly population because the new mileage rate that's effective for January the 1st gives a 20%, a 20 cent, I'm sorry, a 20 cent per mile driven for medical purposes. So if you're an elderly property or 202 property or an elderly population, your residents can get 20 cents per mile when driving for medical necessities. And that's up from the 2018 amount by two cents. And also there's a new mileage rate. Sometimes we have our residents, especially our elderly residents, who volunteer for Meals on Wheels and other charitable organizations, theirs is up also. There's a new mileage deduction for them, and that's 14 cents per mile. So keep that in mind. Also, many of you have asked us about the FAST Act and streamlining, where it involves recertifications, where it involves utility reimbursements and things of that nature. We'll go into sessions on the FAST Act and streamlining in some of our Tuesday tip sessions. Also, I wanted to tell you about RIP Listserv number 441. Now, on the RIP Listserv number 441, it states that the information in EIV, especially the wage information, is not current. HUD tells you in that RIP Listserv that you're to verify the information for your residents according to Chapter 5 and Paragraph 513 in the 4350.3 Handbook. HUD's really cracking down on us to make sure that you're following the hierarchy of the verifications. So make sure you read Chapter 5, 513. 
For all of you who encountered the wrong information being in EIV, the RIP listserv notice tells you to keep the information out of EIV. You need that. If you don't have it, you will be fine. But to document that with the third party verification that you've received. Another thing that's coming down the pipe from HUD is OIG investigated the REACT process and the REACT appeals. So you're going to find that a lot of changes are going to be happening with our physical inspections coming out of the REACT office. So we'll talk more about that as we endeavor into 2019. These are just some of the changes and some of the things that are happening in our industry. We wanted you to be aware of. We'll go in more depth with our next Tuesday tip. Thank you again. Keep the emails coming. Keep the questions coming. We try to answer as many of them as we can. A lot of you have sent a lot of questions on fair housing, the pets versus the reasonable accommodation. We're going to do another series on that too. Just to thank you one more time for all of your input and all of the things that you contribute to Tuesday Tips. Thank you and see you next Tuesday.